Yeah, I don't even remember. That, that's the that's the thing. I don't remember the car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what okay, man? Ah, okay. It does have springs. Yeah. Okay. Um, unlock it. Leave it. No, oh, it's yours. Yeah. There. There. It's a oh. sickle, Omar. Omar. Where it went? Even here, you see? Where is right now? No heavy one. Uh huh. All right. It's missing also the springs. That's why it's not popping out. Okay, sorry, my bad, man. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I was thinking now all these years and you cannot find the. Okay, what we did here? You change the PCV. Yeah. You change the PCV. Wait to focus. I cannot see the date. Anyhow, what else we did here? Bonnet gastrap. Bonnet gastrap. Okay. What else? What is our tank and the cap? Cool and expansion tank and the cap. And what the else? Filter. Uh, AC filter. Okay. And uh, fuel filter. And the fuel filter back. Yeah, the variable parts is there. Okay, the old parts for the customer. <coughs> the seals, you change it, the PCV, alright, beautiful. That's the pollen filter, the AC filter. And here you have the. This is the one that has a cracked fuel filter yeah, before. Yeah. Ah, okay, alright, alright. Alright, okay. Let me see. Ah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Okay, all the parts, all the parts back to the owner, you know? Anything else? Yeah. Anything That's it. Yeah. All right, let me see also how many kilometers it has to remember that. Uh, 151, 150. Just uh, keep in mind, the, uh, Tell them to, to stop just for one minute. Okay, now what I was willing to say, that if if it's smoking from the exhaust by changing only the PCV, it won't gonna stop because the intake manifold has an oil inside, obviously. I'm just saying. It won't gonna stop since by just changing the PCV. It'll gonna stop dumping oil from the crankcase inside of the intake manifold. But again, it, you have to burn the oil that has inside of the intake manifold. So, you want to add something? No, I just want to show you what I did. What you did? The job. Nothing else, no, nothing more, nothing less, right? Yes. I remember on that one, if I remember right, correct me if I'm wrong, I checked already the timing and it was on timing yeah, on this one. It was fine, it didn't have any problem. So, finish with checking some of the cylinders, I remember. Yeah. I have a video, I don't remember, it, it's a week ago, two weeks ago, I don't remember what. The timing of the camshaft, the lobes was okay. If I remember right, yeah, so it was the one that changed the oil cap and the seals. Yes, now I remember it. Because I think the owner, he sent me, uh, he sent me a message that he, they changed the seals and this kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. That's it. Now, it's going to be very helpful to have also the springs on the bonnet and the lock that looks like it's been cutted. And you cannot grab it with your hand. Why I'm saying that? Because now to open the bonnet, you need two people. One person to pull it up and the other one to open it from inside the latch. Yeah, that's it. We are good? Can I continue? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. Oh, sorry. Somebody else, uh, he asked me. There are some cars, the ML, I think, ML63, that don't have the reservoir, the tank, the vacuum. It's not, it's not here, it's a stainless steel, it's on the side. Or the S63, I think, or the ML63. It's the other plenum here, the plastic plenum, but it's missing the reservoir, the vacuum reservoir. It's located down. There is on the bolts where it's located, where's the bell housing. So it's fine, it's the same thing. Instead of having let's say, the reservoir here, you have it on stainless steel down or you have it plastic here up. Now I remember that also. That's it, thank you very much.